Look at this bus stop, this bridge, and this playground. Notice anything? Let's take another look. They all share something special. They're built using old wind turbine blades. It's not just because it looks cool. It's also because we don't have many other ideas about what to do with these blades when they're no longer useful for making energy. Wind turbines are designed to last for about 20 to 25 years. During this time, they produce clean and renewable energy by converting wind into electricity. However, like any other machine, wind turbines eventually wear out and need to be replaced. This means that we have to deal with the old and obsolete wind turbines that are no longer useful. What are the different components of a wind turbine that need recycling? Let's find out. Approximately 90% of wind turbine components are recyclable. Wind turbine towers are typically constructed from materials like steel or concrete. Both of these materials are recyclable, making wind turbine towers one of the easily recyclable components of the turbine. Steel, in particular, can be recycled efficiently and used to create new products. Concrete can also be recycled and reused in various construction applications. The materials commonly used in wind turbine generators and gearboxes include iron, steel, copper, aluminum, and in some cases, rare earth magnets. These materials are chosen for their durability and electrical properties. Many of these materials are highly recyclable. You might think that wind turbine blades can be easily reused or repurposed, but that's not the case. The blades are designed to withstand extreme weather conditions and high rotational speeds, which makes them very durable and strong, but also very difficult to cut, transport, or modify. Most of the blades end up in landfills or incinerators, which is not only wasteful, but also harmful to the environment. The disposal of wind turbine blades in landfills has raised concerns due to their negative image in the public eye. While wind energy is considered a clean and sustainable power source, the sight of abandoned turbine blades in landfills can lead to misconceptions and doubts about the environmental impact of the wind industry. Critics argue that this contradicts the industry's green reputation and sustainability goals. Recycling wind turbine blades presents a significant challenge for the wind industry to transition fully into a circular economy. These blades are primarily constructed from carbon fiberglass, a material that has historically been difficult to recycle. However, recent developments within the industry are providing promising solutions. One solution to address this issue is the repurposing of these retired blades. The industry has already explored numerous innovative applications, including repurposing them in bridge construction, playground equipment, furniture, and electric transmission poles. However, Despite these creative endeavors, the sheer volume of retiring blades surpasses what repurposing alone can accommodate. While repurposing is undeniably valuable, its scope remains limited in the face of the impending challenge. To meet this growing issue, it's imperative to discover practical recycling solutions. With the wind industry's continuous expansion, it's estimated that we will be grappling with a staggering 43 million metric tons of wind turbine blade waste by the year 2050. This might be the toughest problem that the wind power industry is dealing with right now. While the waste issue in the wind industry is small compared to the global plastic waste problem, the wind sector, seen as a symbol of green energy and sustainability, is actively striving to enhance its public image. It's exploring various solutions to address this concern. One promising solution is to utilize these retired blades in cement production. Cement is one of the most important building materials in the world. It is used to make concrete, which is used to build everything from houses and bridges to roads and skyscrapers. The main ingredient in cement is clinker, which is made from limestone, clay, and other minerals. These minerals are heated to very high temperatures in a kiln, which creates a clinker that is then ground into a fine powder to be used for cement production. First, wind turbine blades are cut into smaller segments, 
ensuring they can be conveniently transported on trucks. Once the blades are cut, they are transported to the processing facility. For economic efficiency, it's ideal if the cutting facility is situated in close proximity to the cement factory, thereby minimizing transportation costs. Following the cutting of the blades, they undergo shredding into smaller pieces, rendering them well-suited for co-processing alongside other raw materials in the cement production process. Typically, the shredding process involves multiple stages to reduce the blades to a size suitable for further processing. Primary shredders are often used initially to break down the large blades into more manageable pieces. Subsequently, secondary shredders are employed to further refine the material into smaller fragments. Once wind turbine blades are meticulously shredded into fine pieces, they undergo a second life as crucial components in cement production through a process known as co-processing. Qantas estimates reveal the substantial environmental benefits of recycling a single seven-ton blade, which translates into the conservation of five tons of coal, 2.7 tons of silica, 1.9 tons of lumosintone, and about one ton of other mineral-based materials. This recycling approach not only addresses the challenge of blade waste, but also yields significant advantages for the concrete industry. Recovered silica from turbine blades serves as a substitute for some of the sand and clay in cement production, offering a partial alternative to coal and potentially reducing emissions by up to 27% as noted by GE. Moreover, the processing of shredded blades into pebble-sized pieces suitable for kiln fuel presents an opportunity to reduce reliance on fossil fuels in the firing of kilns, leading to a notable decrease in emissions throughout the process. Using them in cement or other solutions is a start, but for a truly circular economy, we need something more. That's why companies like Siemens, Gamesa, and Vestas are on a mission to fully recycle these blades. Gamesa has developed a groundbreaking solution called the Recyclable Blade, which is the first fully recyclable wind turbine blade designed for offshore use. It's built to maintain performance and durability while being recyclable at the end of its life cycle. The key innovation is a new recyclable epoxy resin that can be chemically broken down into high quality materials, which can then be used to create new blades or other products. Siemens Gamesa has joined forces with RWE Renewables to deploy the first recyclable blades at the Casca Sea offshore wind power plant in Germany. Vestas, another prominent wind turbine manufacturer, has also introduced a circularity solution to eliminate the need for landfilling turbine blades. They've developed a unique chemical process that can disassemble the epoxy resin components of old blades turning them into raw materials suitable for crafting new blades. This innovation resulted from collaboration with Aarhus University, Danish Technological Institute, and Olin as part of the CETEC project dedicated to exploring circular technology for turbine blades. This breakthrough in recycling is a game changer. It opens the door to recycling all retired blades, even those nearing the end of their lifespan. The big question now is this commercially viable on a large scale? The industry is hard at work finding out. If successful, it could revolutionize the wind industry. What are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching.